YouTube video, everybody. As I said in my last video, which was the blooper video, the Christmas haul is going to be done this week, and here we are. So I will tell you the reason that we did the Christmas haul this week instead of last week is that I was still waiting on what Brody got me for Christmas to show up in the mail, which it hasn't. Thank you very much, Canada Post, for your awesome like customer service. Regardless, Canada Post sucks, just saying that for the record. So I do not have Brody's gift. I have a little thing which I'm going to show you, but I'm going to have to do his video in a separate unboxing later on. And I'm actually okay with that because it's so fucking cool. I don't have anything like it. I'm going to unbox it separately to show you guys. So keep your, keep your eyes on my channel and look forward to that. But in the meantime, here's what I got for Christmas from everybody else and a little thing from Brody. Okay, we're going to start off with this which is pretty amazing. This is Life, Vampires and Their Undying Appeal. It's kind of like a magazine about like different vampire and vampire bats and stuff like that. It's got like the Lost Boys. It's got Lucy from Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's got like historical posters and stuff. I haven't had a chance to fully look through this yet, but it is very, it is very, very cool. And I'm very much excited to like look through this because it's not like a regular magazine. Vampire hunting kits and the whole business. Anything with vampires, always a safe bet to get me for Christmas, or my birthday, or any occasion, or no occasion at all, just because. I also got this magnificent clock that's so ugly. I'm so excited about it. This is immediately going in my bathroom, in the holy crapper, you know it is. So obviously it is a working uh, Jesus clock. I don't know if you can tell that it's sort of like holographic or shifty or whatever, whatever you want to say, but uh, it does change as you look at it, and it is... Uh, that, that is something else. I am, I am shocked at how ugly this is and how much I love it. That is absolutely delightful. And now I'll know what time it is while I'm in the bathroom because I don't have a clock in there yet. I also got a grown-up coloring book, which I'm not, I'm not about adult coloring books. I got to tell you, I don't have time to color. I don't give a shit. But this one is very interesting because it is the bloody alphabet for adults only serial killers coloring book. So when you open this up to like a random page, it gives you... Serial killers by name. So we've got Ted Bundy. We've got Charles Manson. We've got, who else is in here? There you go. All different, everybody on all different pages. I think there's a hundred of these, if I recall correctly. I think there's a hundred of these. So I'm going to have to try to find some time to do some coloring because this is, this is really neat. This is really neat. I have never wanted to own an adult coloring book. And now I'm really, I'm really glad that I do because that's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. All right. Next up, we have this, which is actually a candle. I thought it was a soap when I opened it. It's not. It is a candle of a very shapely young lady. Look how shapely her bum is. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not going to lie. When I get special candles, I never burn them. So realistically, I'm never going to light this up. I've got a couple of candles sitting over on my hearse table. I've got a penis. I've got um, a, some praying hands. And now I have this shapely young lady and they will fit there together and they will just never get burned. And I am a okay with that. Super fun. I got this book. This is obviously skin to the first six issues. So I actually have some skin to magazines that I personally bought from a store in Toronto, which no longer exists, but I don't have these because these are from like the eighties. Um, and obviously that is not a time that I was collecting skin to magazines. So it has all these cool, like, it's basically just the magazines collected into this book for people that don't have them. So Skin 2 is a really cool uh, British fetish magazine. So it has all these like cool pictures of like Betty Page and other people and people in like officer's hats. And yeah, it's really, it's really, really neat. Again, I haven't had a chance to fully look through this yet, but I'm pretty excited to get into it and see everything that's in here. This is cool. If you guys ever see Skin 2 magazines, think of me because I think they're really, really neat. The fashion in them is like awesome. Okay, and I got Mark of the Vampire on VHS here. Got Bella Lugosi, obviously. I don't know any of the other people because I'm, you know, lame like that. But I have not actually seen. This is one of the few Bella Lugosi movies that I haven't seen. And I'm, I'm very excited to own this on VHS. Um, I'm going to play this in my, in my VCR and watch this probably with a glass of red wine in my hand. Which, speaking of... Da, 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 da. Someone got me a bottle of Apothic Dark for Christmas, which is, of course, my favorite red wine, if you guys know. So, like, this and this are definitely getting used together. Very excited. Very excited about that. That's going to be a fun, a fun evening. Okay, I got a fork and a spoon, 
which might seem ridiculous to you, but something that you guys probably don't know about me is I have weird head goblins about utensils. There are very specific utensils that I will and won't use, um, and it's very much based on the shape of them, the weight of them. I don't like light utensils, I like heavy utensils. And I do this a lot in like thrift stores and antique markets, honest to God. I'll pretend like this and I'll go like, and pretend like I'm eating or same with the spoon. I'll pretend that I'm scooping liquid and see how it feels coming to my mouth. And people always think I'm fucking out of my mind when they see me doing it, but it's very important. And I have definitely brought home forks and spoons that don't make the cut. And then they either go back to the thrift store or I give them to someone else or I make Brody eat with them because he doesn't care. He's not crazy like I am, but this is a good, this is a good weighty, weighty spoon. Love, love it. Okay, I also got this dude who is kind of rotting, definitely shedding. He is a fox, he was a fox, obviously. Look at his little face. Look at his little face, he's so cute. Um, part of his tail is missing. He definitely got part of his tail ripped off sometime over the years and there's fur flying through the air already just from me touching him. So he's probably mostly gonna be a display fox because um, I imagine that if I tried to wear him, he would just shed all over me and that's not, not great because he's brown and most of my clothes are black, obviously, but he's so, he's so cute. I love his little ears. We're going to film all this close up for you so you can see how cute his little ears are. Put him down here so he can shed on my other gifts for a minute. Okay. Next up, I got these, which are very interesting. I don't even know if you can see these correctly, but this is a photograph. We're going to film it for you better close up in a minute. Um, this is really interesting. So my friend bought this at an art show and this is not digital. The fucking cool thing about this photo that's going to blow your mind is this is a real photograph. This is a real setup. This girl, this artist goes into the bush, hangs all these skulls, gets naked and like sets up this really old camera and like legitimately takes these pictures. So this is a real picture of a real person with real skulls in a real location. And it's fucking fantastic. I don't know where I'm going to put this in my house, but it's going to go somewhere special because that's, that's awesome. I mean, anybody, not anybody can do digital art, but it's much easier to do this digitally than it is to go through all the effort of like setting up all these props. Da, 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 da. And I, I really appreciate people to put that kind of effort into shit. That's really cool. And I love this print. And from the same friend, I also got this print, which we will also film up close for you shortly. It's the same kind of idea. This is a real prop. This is not a backdrop. This is not a CG. This is not anything like that. This is a real moon prop. And my friend actually went in the store where this moon prop is. You can actually sit on this prop in the store. Uh, it's in British Columbia. And this girl went in, skull, whatever, and like sat on this moon prop and like took this picture. So that's a, again, a real photograph, not staged, not CG. And that's amazing. That's cool. I'm really excited to find homes for those to go in my house. I think that's really, really cool. All right. I have uh, this, which has shedding fox hair all over it. Just like I said, he's doing his job and shedding all my new things before I even get to wear them. So this was obviously made by my friend, Miss Mary Morning, who is featured in some of my sewing videos. She made me this gorgeous, eh, which I can't even show you correctly, but I'll model it in a second. Black velvet, bell sleeve, sweater, tunic top thing, which is really beautiful. Just my style goes over everything to keep me warm. I just love it. You'll get to see it better in just a moment. And I will in fact defer it before you do. Okay, we're getting down to the end, you guys. Getting down to the end. So, I got this. This is an enamel pin of a measuring tape, which I'm really excited about. Definitely gonna go on my punk jackets because, you know, I have a few enamel pins. I do like the enamel pin trend, but a lot of them can be quite cheesy and not to my taste. But a measuring tape, obviously, can't get much more me than that. I'm usually wearing a measuring tape like as a necklace, like most of my fucking life. So that's, that's delightful. All right, I got this, which you probably can't tell what it is. I'm gonna open it here. It is a um, keychain. I thought it was just a keychain. I didn't know. Um, it is in fact a keychain, but also a um, self-defense keychain. I guess you would call them a self-defense keychain and window breaker. And it's made of red glitter resin. So I guess you put your hands through it like that and you can fuck somebody up if you need to or smash your windows if you need to. But uh, also is a glitter 
resin skull. So I'm excited. I do have a lot of keychains, way more keychains than I have keys. And I'm excited for that to be part of my, my keychain collection. Okay, and from the same friend who gave me that, I got this, which is totally fucking amazing. This is a custom tumbler. She got another artist to make this for me with my name, obviously, Miss Eve right there. And it has pictures of me all the way around it. That's the one from the album cover by Dark, which is awesome. Um, and then there's a couple of other photos of me, obviously, here. Red and black glitter. And it's like heavy duty, got its own straw, and it's for hot and cold. I'm super, I'm super fucking excited about this. I'm super, that's fucking cool, you guys. That's so cool. What amount of thought went into that, right? Okay, and now I have something very sexy to show you. Indeed, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. I got down here something. What is it? What is it? Do you know what it is? Just kidding. That's actually V's. My friend Mary gave me these hideous monstrosities that I fucking love that keep my feet warm at Christmas and they make me look ridiculous. Super into them. Love them. Okay, now you actually get to see what that was for real that I was pulling up from the side of the table. Ready? these aren't these great i know you can't see them but you just got to see them on my legs so that's totally fine friends of mine got me these they're a little bit big these are actually a 12 and i wear an 11 but better too big than too small right so i just got some like insoles put them in and ta-da sexy pvc thigh high boots can't go wrong with that can't complain love it love it love it love it my friends know me so well so well okay and now we have the last two things these are the two little things that brody got me to open because the real gift isn't here yet but like i said going to do a separate unboxing of that as soon as it shows up. So fear not, you will get to see. But in the meantime, he got me these little things to open. He got me this pair of skull socks, which I actually really, really love because I do have, you know, a lot of weird socks with things on them. But these are like a beautiful dark burgundy color with like cool, not Halloween-y, like not cheesy skulls on them. And I can always use more socks. So got those from Brody. Very excited about it. Love weird novelty socks. And then he also got me this, which uh, is a whole bunch of things that I love all together. I love pins. I love enamel pins. I love pins for my punk jacket. So this is definitely a pin. Um, and as you can tell by my, by my bathroom, I really like uh, religious, specifically Catholic kind of stuff. And uh, this is a nun in a ball gag. So you infer the third thing. So this is, this is great. This is totally delightful. This will be going on my punk jacket. Fear you not. And uh, I don't know where the fuck he found this, but I absolutely love it. So he felt really bad that my real gift wasn't here and I only got to open these tiny things. But I'm not worried about it. You can't control the post. So it is what it is. And you guys get a whole separate video out of the other thing. So. All right. So here are my gifts all laid out on the table for you to view. We're going to give you some close-ups. So here's this cutie patootie fox who's going rotten. But look at his ears. Look at his ears. He's so cute. This is the girl sitting on the moon. We've got the naked broad with skulls in the forest. Like, how awesome is this? That's amazing. That is an amazing art print. I love it. Bloody alphabet of serial killers. Vampire book. Enormous puffy sequin elf slippers. Pretty great. Mark of the vampire. Here's that pin that Brody got me. I love it. We've got the skull socks. We've got the resin skull window breaker thing. Pin. Look at this candle. So shapely. So shapely. We've got Apothic Dark Wine. Here's my tumbler close up. So I've got the Miss E. And then it's got that picture and also that picture on it. Glitter spider webs and blood splatter. Hells yeah. We got the utensils. We've got the sexy PVC boots is good. We've got the Jesus clock that definitely shifts and rotates beautifully like that skin two magazine and the beautiful jacket for mary so anyway i hope you liked this video um and if you did let me know which which your favorite thing is what is your favorite thing that i got for christmas out of my haul and then let me know what your favorite thing is that you got for christmas i'm looking forward to seeing what some of you out there got 
in internet land. You can write that in the comments and I'll be sure to be reading them. So if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you want to follow me on all the things, I have all the things now, thanks to Jessica. I don't even know them all. I've got Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. I don't even know what else. Depop. It's all under, it's all under Madam Absinthe anyway. If you look up Madam Absinthe on any of those, you will find me. If you want to buy me a Kofi, kofi.com slash Madam Absinthe, you can support the maintenance of my sewing machines, my weird fabric art, and the fact that we're trying to save up to get some like not shitty video equipment. That would be delightful. And I think that's it. Like, subscribe, follow me on all the things, buy me a Kofi if you want to. Check out our Depop for cool secondhand shit. And uh, I will see you guys all around for my next YouTube video. Merry belated Christmas, and we'll see you at the unboxing.